The Airbus A380 is by far the world's largest passenger plane. It has two full decks, which can hold a maximum of 853 passengers. In its standard four-class configuration, the jet holds 544 passengers very comfortably. Even with the latter, that's a lot of room for a plane, which is why the A380 is nicknamed the Super Jumbo Jet. A380s are fielded by the world's largest airlines, including Emirates, Singapore Airlines, and Lufthansa. Wondering what it's like to fly inside a super jumbo jet? Let's find out more in today's video. Just how big is it? The Airbus A380 is a behemoth of a plane. From wingtip to wingtip, it measures a staggering 260 feet. The jet is 238 feet long from nose to tail, and it's 79 feet high. At takeoff, it can weigh as much as a hulking 575 tons. In fact, the Super Jumbo is so huge that it has forced airports to rethink the design of their runways and parking areas for planes. They need a lot of room for such a humongous plane. Inside, both decks are designed for seats with two aisles. The cabin is wide, and it allows a lot more freedom of movement than most other airplanes. Even in economy seats, you'll have ample legroom to stretch and sit down comfortably. That's great news, especially if you plan to go on a long-haul flight. Because of the A380's wide cabin, airlines have a lot of options to customize the space. This has led to some astounding first-class suite and business-class cabins. Imagine renting your own private room in the skies. That would be a pretty awesome flight. Luxury in the skies. The first thing you'll notice that's unique to the Airbus A380 is the wider legroom. Aside from the two aisles, you'll find that the seats are not too close together, even in economy class. That means you can do a little more stretching with your legs. Tall people would love flying in this super jumbo jet. You won't find this much legroom in smaller airplanes, especially when flying economy. The lighting in every A380 is quite a sight to behold, too. In the evening, energy-efficient LED lights illuminate the cabin. The lights are in different colors, so you can feel a different vibe each time the lights come on. This is great for long-haul flights, helping you cope with the changing time zones. With that, jet lag would not be as big a problem anymore. Another thing to note is its staircase. Unlike the smaller Boeing 747, the A380 has a double-width staircase. Very spacious, and you don't have to squeeze yourself when climbing up or down the stairs. It has an air of elegance to it, kind of like the stairs you find in hotels. Usually, the lower deck is reserved for economy and premium economy seats. The upper deck is for business class and first class, which accommodates fewer people but has much fancier amenities. It's in the upper deck that you'll find different perks from different airlines. Unfortunately, you won't find A380s with any US-based airline, so let's take a look at the carriers from the rest of the world who do use this plane. High-class perks from different airlines First off, we have British Airways. In the first-class cabin of the British Airways A380s, the seats are in a 1-2-1 configuration. One seat for the window rows and two seats for the middle rows. In the middle rows, there are no overhead luggage compartments adding to the sense of space. That's pretty comfy, especially if you prefer to have some alone time in flight. Just pick a window seat in first class and you're good to go. The seat is not even very close to the window, unlike in other planes. That gives you some extra breathing room, and leg room, too. That's not all. The seats even feature power outlets and USB ports, perfect for keeping your devices charged up in flight. Some seats also include a small wardrobe to hang your coat and put in a small carry-on bag. And, of course, there's the convenient footrest to keep your feet happy. The first-class tray table is also particularly huge. It can comfortably fit a 15-inch laptop with some room to spare. When it's time to hit the sack, the seat can extend into a bed with lots of wiggle room. If you tend to move around while you sleep, this space is a perfect fit for you. If you think the perks of British Airways first class are fancy enough, not so fast. That's just the beginning. Have a look at what Emirates has in store for you. Emirates puts the class in its A380 first-class cabins. Imagine taking a short vacation in the skies, 
with your own private suite. One seat just for you, which you can also convert into a full bed. Each suite is complete with a wide screen for the in-flight entertainment, a mini bar with a wealth of drinks, and sumptuous gourmet meals made by a special in-flight chef. Eat as much as you can and enjoy as many of the drinks as you can. Just remember to drink moderately. Want some extra privacy? Not to worry. Just close the sliding door and you're on your own. Before you sleep, you can even ask the crew to prepare some sheets, blankets, and pillows for your benefit. And that's not all. If you think the private suites are the icing on the cake, there's still a cherry on top. That's the onboard shower spa, complete with a branded Bulgari amenity kit. Yes, you heard that right. A shower and a spa on a plane 40,000 feet in the air. Emirates First Class is pretty much a flying five-star hotel. What flying feels like on an A380? If you've flown a lot in small airplanes, you know how it feels when turbulence hits. If you're not fearing for your life, you would feel pretty dizzy in your seat. That's because the wind has stronger effects on small planes. Even the slightest turbulence can rock the plane's body or fuselage and cause a ruckus on board. Thanks to the A380's massive size, you almost wouldn't feel like you're in a fast-moving airplane. Any movement would feel much calmer, and if turbulence strikes, you would feel almost no shaking at all. The feeling of takeoff and landing would also be less nerve-wracking. The entire flight would seem as if you're inside a building in the sky because of how stable it is. Airbus A380s are also engineered with excellent soundproofing and noise cancellation technologies. If flying in other airplanes make you almost deaf, flying in an A380 is an entirely different experience. You won't hear any sharp engine noise while inside the cabin. This is a big deal for frequent flyers. They don't have to constantly cover their ears on a long flight, and they don't have to talk over the engine noise when flying with a companion. Overall, flying in an Airbus A380 is a more comfy and more relaxing experience than in any other airplane. What's it like for the pilots? We've talked a great deal about what flying in an A380 is like for passengers. How about for the pilots? How do they feel flying the world's biggest passenger plane? First of all, it's a completely different piloting experience. Putting such a huge plane in the air, keeping it up, and putting it back on the ground? are delicate tasks. Even experienced pilots have had to go through extensive training to pilot the behemoth A380. Despite its staggering wingspan and monstrous size, some pilots were surprised at how easy the A380 is to operate. According to one captain of an Emirates A380, the aircraft is the most stable out of any plane he has ever flown. He also says the controls are very responsive and the aircraft is generally easy to handle. The A380 has an advanced radar system for monitoring the weather. It displays a weather map in stunning 3D, allowing pilots to precisely locate dangerous weather events like thunderstorms. With this information, they can adjust the plane's flight path to avoid any adverse weather. To help the pilots land the giant plane, the A380 is equipped with forward and rear cameras. Screens in the cockpit provide real-time information to the pilots regarding where the front wheels are pointed and what's going on behind the plane. This makes it easier for pilots to align the jet to the landing markers on the runway. Also, the rear cameras allow pilots to check for any objects that could dent the plane from the back. The Airbus A380 is truly a marvel of aeronautical engineering. Too bad it won't stay with us for long, though. Thanks to COVID-19, demand has disappeared from wide-body double-decker aircraft like the A380. Airbus has announced that it will end production of the Super Jumbo Jet this year. Only time will tell if A380 flights will continue as the pandemic subsides.